Day five started with a quick coffee and some breakfast at the coffee shop near the test site where John went through all the final details of how the FST would work and, and the format and how it would run and, and give us a good idea about what we could expect from, from the test. When we arrived on site, everything was treated like a real job. John took on the role of a client, gave us a brief, took us through exactly what they wanted and we were then to respond and give, manage the expectations of that and say what can be done. And it was all using documentation and checking the weather, checking permissions and no tams, all these kind of things that we brought together over the last couple of days were all coming out in the test, which I thought was a brilliant way of doing it. And it kind of put you on the spot, but really useful and, and, and a good experience to actually be in that situation without it being a live client, but feeling like it was, if that makes sense. It was then on to doing the actual flying, which was quite daunting. Even though we'd practiced some of these maneuvers, it was all a bit like intimidating and, and felt a bit weird, but actually John and the team made it made it really relaxed and to be honest, after a while it didn't feel too much like a test situation, they made it feel really at ease. Once I'd done the first part of the test, I settled in quite easily and it, it started feeling a lot more comfortable and like I said, the, the way John did it and, and portrayed everything was quite relaxed, so that made me feel a lot better. Once that was complete, it was announced that I'd passed the FST, which was fantastic, and that was what it had all worked towards. So for me, it was like a massive weight coming off my shoulders. Following the test, John debriefed us on, on what he thought and the sort of positives and, and not negatives, but comments he made that could be improved and things we need to look at going forward onto live jobs, because that's what it's all about. It's taking this forward onto live jobs and they want the absolute confidence that you're going to go out and represent the training you've had and do things as you should with a client and not cause issues or have any concerns. And now it's a case of just getting the submission to the CAA with my ops manual and getting the permission for commercial operation which is the next step and that should hopefully be sorted in the next three to four weeks all being well with the lead times. So absolutely fantastic, can't recommend uh, the course enough, it's just really really good, tutors are fantastic, the way it's run is fantastic, the level of detail and quality of materials given is very very high and as I say the ability to learn so much information in such a short space of time is is pretty impressive you know because when you start these courses you don't always know your sort of learning level <clears throat> and for me it was taught in such a way that I could absorb it and obviously it worked because I got to the end and I've passed it so that's what it's all about. Hopefully this video has proved useful and if you've watched all the rest of them it all hopefully all makes sense and pieces together all the different parts of this five day course I did. And if it's of interest, at the end of this video, I will put on the details for Flyby Technology with some phone numbers and web website addresses and things. And obviously check them out on Facebook and things like that, which is where I ultimately found them. Have a look and gauge for yourself, but use that in conjunction with these videos to get a, a real impression of what this company is all about and the level or the standard and the level of training that they give. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, Go and ask them. They're more than happy to help and they will give you as much detail as possible. 